Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Um, you know, I have held back on reporting this particular event right here, December 3rd. They've got a comment, a new comment that will be coming in, visible by binoculars in the dark sky conditions on uh, Friday, uh, December 3rd. And the reason I have kind of held back on this, I've, as I said, I've known about this for about two weeks it was in one of my latest briefings that I was in uh, before we got sick and uh, before we all got sick here. And I was told that December there was a comet coming through, that they were watching it very closely because they expected that this comet is going to actually collide with a number of small asteroids that are in our, our vicinity right now. As a result of that, uh, there has been a lot of calculations that are being done as to what may or may not happen uh, uh, as a result of this collision course that this comet is on with some of the asteroids that are near the Earth at this time. Uh, there is belief, some belief that there could be uh, some impact to the Earth, but I think for the most part, all of those are relatively small. Uh, and so therefore, it was one of, another reason why uh, three different nations. I've mentioned to you already in one of our previous broadcasts that three nations were working on uh, taking out as many of the smaller asteroids as possible, and this had a lot to do with it. I just didn't go into the details of that. Um, the same thing with the larger asteroids that were coming in. There was uh, efforts to, to be able to knock those off course um, so there's been a tremendous amount of work going on with the space forces right now, uh, three different countries. In fact, uh, they're not in between that battling one another over who's going to get the natural resources uh, off of these asteroids that have that are rich in minerals. There, uh, in fact, the the whole program for the um, for the exploration that's being done. Uh, for these uh, minerals such as gold and, and other uh, rich deposits there uh, on these asteroids that are near the Earth right now had to be put on hold until after this comet comes through. That's just how dangerous this was considered to be uh, and as far as what, what's going to happen, what will not happen. So, um, so we're going to find out here. They're going to see what's going on. According to this right here, this is a live webinar. Uh, will track a newly found comet as it passes by the dense collection of stars visibly in Earth's sky. A bright comet, uh, C 2021, uh, A1 Leonard, also known as the Comet Leonard, will fly by the uh, Globular Cluster Messer Messier 3 in Keynes uh, Venticia. I can't pronounce all those words tonight on December the 2nd. Both objects will be visible uh, in binoculars from the dark sky location. It will be close enough uh, together to view in a single telescope view, field of view for a few hours. But for those who find it too cold, uh, light polluted or otherwise inconvenient to view the uh, sky flyby, the Rome-based Virtual Telescope Project will pro uh, broadcast the event starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Thursday uh, and... Uh, Friday, December the 3rd. So I guess at 10 o'clock tonight, we'll, we ought to be able to start seeing this thing. I'll look and see myself. I have some pretty powerful uh, cameras there that could reach out at about 3,000 millimeters there and see if we can't track this ourselves. So I wanted to kind of share that with you. Uh, also, there is a lot of talk right now of Russia. Russia planning ma uh, to make, a ma make aggressive moves to destabilize Ukraine. According to U.S. officials, warn of this. It's being reported by Newsweek, and uh, and you know, of course, Russia. Uh, not not it's not the case of Ukraine, but Russia has uh, set up some major uh, defensives there on the Kuril Islands. There uh, that has the capability of taking out any type of warships that'll be in the Pacific Ocean near the region of Japan. <laughs> Can't help but wonder what's going on there. We know that China is going to be taking out uh, uh, North Korea, excuse me, not North Korea, but China is going to be taking Taiwan, uh, whether by force or not, 
still remains to be seen right around Christmas time. So it appears that Russia also is preparing for that front as well. Uh, I think this whole issue about Ukraine is more just posturing because uh, it's not supposed to be any, any of that type of activity going on as of yet. But we'll just have to kind of wait and see. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a good evening.